again today. Me and my buddy Nick. 3.24 a.m. I'll see you in about three hours when we arrive at the hot spot. Woo! Killing outdoors. Back in the saddle again. Well, we made it. It's uh, about 5.30, 5.40. Just making it just getting rigged up, ready to go. Up north, little honey hole, little togue spot, little hot spot. Hopefully we'll be able to get some fish on the ice for you this time. Because we never do. But today is the day we actually learn about fishing. Little small suckers is what we got for bait today, folks. Pretty small suckers, three to six, seven inches at the very most. We're going for numbers today. We want to try and catch some fish, get them landed on the pond. We've done a lot of showing you guys fishing. Hopefully today we're going to catch a right show now, you a little up a smock. And hopefully we'll see some fish on the ice today, folks. Stay tuned, ought to be a beauty. Got us a little dig hole cut out. Camp's all set up, all traps are set out. I knew I said I wouldn't be back this winter, but I'm back in the saddle again. I had one flag, ran out a lot of the line, didn't get him, but I'm fierce. See if we can't get some fish on the pond. We talk about it an awful lot. I always bitch, complain, say one of these days I'm going to show you guys one of them good days of fishing. Hopefully today's the day. We'll see. Well, Probably folks, not. Second flag of the day. Last trap out, as always, because we're on fucking foot. But it ain't spinning, but I don't know. Maybe he's just sitting there munching on it. We'll see. Here he is. There he is, folks. Woohoo! Fish on! Fish on! Well, folks, we got a pretty frisky one on right now. Pretty fierce. He keeps going on little runs here. He ain't giving up, that's for damn sure. He ain't coming out the hole, that's a very good sign. We got a pretty good fish on, folks. I just got a glimpse of him. Looks like a pretty nice Put fish. Put up one hell of a fight, ladies and gents. Woo! I ain't never seen one no bigger than about 25 inches come out of yeah, here. Yeah, I don't know. That, that's what I got him figured at. Oh, I yanked mine right out the hole. I don't know. I'm, you want to feel the line real quick? We're gonna try and get this fish up right here, folks. Try and get his head facing the hole. <laughs> Come up tail fucking first. Come right up tail first. That's all right. Oh yeah, I'd have yarded him right out the hole. Pretty stocky little, pretty stocky one, 25 inches or so, 24 or five inches. Nice male, got him a little kite going, little tiny hook jaw going. Hold him right up against your head again. He's a beauty, nice one. 
That's what we're after today, folks. Fish on the ice, dealing outdoors. <coughs> One trip dog fishing. This is my personal opinion to each his own. You got a big piece of bait, and your line's moving slow. You know, stopping every now and again. Let him eat it. Let him swallow it. When he takes off on a good run, that usually means that he's got it down enough to where he feels comfortable to go swim off and look for some more or find a place to sleep or fucking a female or lay some eggs or eat some shit off the bottom or whatever the hell else they do. But when they go on a good tear, a good run, and then they slow down again, that's usually when I give them wood. Like I said, to each his own. Folks, I didn't get 20 feet from that same trap I just caught my first fish on. We were walking over to Nick's flag. He's way the F down there. I got no cameraman. Got another fish on the same hole. I didn't get 15 feet from it. And it went and popped back up again. Same one. Woo! Dealing outdoors. Showing you catching, not just fishing. Got us another fish on, folks! Woo! We actually got us a double hookup right now, folks. Nick's fighting a fish about 400 yards away right now. There's true bottom right there. That's my bottom marker. And we got us another fish on! Another fish on! Right there, folks. That one's a little smaller than the first one, but quality. Nice, good, strong fish right there. Love it. Gotta love it. Catching fish. Dylan outdoors. Woo! Fucking A right. Finally catching some. On film. We've always caught fish. Done it my whole damn life. Love it. That's why I'm bringing you Dylan outdoors, because that's all I do. I love the outdoors. Just finally getting to show you it on film. Just a little war wound from catching a few fish. Had us a nice little flurry right then. Had two flags. I had two flags, caught two fish. Nick had a flag. Did you catch fish? No, nope, it was nope. just a hit and run. Guess he had him a hit and run. And, uh, there. Yeah, finally got us a few fish on the ice. What you got on there, Nick? We got about a three inch sucker fish. 12 pound test. Number two eagle claw. That's all it takes. This method is proven. Yes, sir. It's yes, sir. Kind of hard to sit there and jig 24 7 when you're fishing because you're out fishing and it gets boring. There she is. Oops. Here we go, folks. Another flag. Hopefully, we'll get us another fish. She spinning? She's spinning. And the fish hasn't taken much line. He's had the, the bait for quite a while. It's a pretty big piece of bait. Come off, folks. So we're gonna do a little trick. Just gonna let our bait sit there for a minute and see how frisky this fish is. Maybe he ain't felt the hook. Maybe he's hungry. Maybe he'll come back. 
Well, folks, the old trick worked. The old trick worked. We let it sit there for just a few minutes. He grabbed a hold of it, and he was right there. Not a bad one, not a bad one. Lay him right up to your scoop here. Yeah. yeah, good 20 inch fish. Nice Another one. fish on the pond. Woo! Dylan outdoors, catching some fish. Three toga on the pond. 10.30. Good day. I like to go up there and fucking paste one of them right off the sled and take it. After walking around checking these traps, jigging these fucking baits around. Long what fucking are, what walk. One of you bastards out there send me some money so I can buy a sled so I can fish some real hot spots. Get some real there ain't nothing so fine. There's a fish on the line. Oh yeah. Got us a flag, and it's the very first closest trap to the shack. What do you know? All that bitching and complaining finally <coughs> paid off. He's definitely been tripped. It's, uh, another fish on, another fish on. Nice one, spit the sucker right out. There's that bait. Sad hour. That's the last pint PBR right there. The buzzfish has been elusive today, but it's due to the fact that the the fish we come to catch have been biting. The weather changed on us rather drastically. It was a beautiful morning, had a beautiful sunset, and now we're faced with an absolutely sideways, sting your face, screeching fucking gale of a windstorm right now. We're in a, well, it's a damn near whiteout blizzard. I mean, with the snow that's drifting and the snow that's blowing right now and falling. It's completely just, I mean, visibility's cut down to like 50 yards, 75 yards. Fucking sucks. That right there, folks, is what you call a fucking snarl. And I mean in good Great shape. big log. He got snarled up in it. I thought I had a fucking trophy legend giant beauty on. He was just wound up in a log, but... One more fish on the pond for Dylan Outdoors, but what a battle. Unbelievable, I even landed the fish. There's a log still wound up my line. I gotta part it off. But I still got the whole gut somehow. We're back in the truck. All geared up. Back, headed out. About 2.30 in the afternoon. We got a, at least a two and a half hour ride home. It was a great show. And hope you enjoyed it. Me and Nick both ended up with three toes apiece. Keep watching. More to come. Lay in the big game by land and sea. Smoking a camel and drinking brandy. Hunting big bucks. You might think he's nuts, but he's better than porn. It's Dylan Allen.